This film, in fact, was the brainchild of Mohammed Franco and star of the up-and-coming pop singer Ahmizaki, who completely immersed himself in the role of Nasser. So much so that during one uh, outtake, he began orating spontaneously uh, in the fashion of Nasser, and extras and uh, film cast began chanting, Nasser, Nasser, Nasser! Uh, the assistant director tried to calm everything down, but Fado ordered the cameras to continue to roll. It was the very accessibility, personality, and leadership role that he wanted to depict. In fact, that tended to be the very nostalgic core that the film struck. Nasser was not only a leader of the Arab world, but a man of the people in Egypt, interacting with commoners on the street, uh, enjoying the common Egyptian dinners of olives and tea, and not the more ostentatious. Uh, it tended, though, very much to remind people of this past no longer existing. In June of 1994, when, it was, uh, when this uh, 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 film was previewed to an invited audience, one member declared, I we have waited for this for 40 years, for Nasser was our savior, and the savior of the Arab people. And it might have been the weighty matters of the present that worried the Mubarak regime and the economic in disparity in the country that immediately resulted in their withdrawal of support. But by August of 1996, the film still aired, and I, along with record numbers of other people in Cairo, lined up to see it. Um, and after which, I read one review in which uh, the writer commented that at the end, a nine-year-old boy turned to his father and asked, what happened next? Well, it seems that what happened next was going to have to wait for each of to step out of uh, the American fold until probably 2001. And in fact, with, uh, I would say, the rise of the Bush administration, it's permitted Egypt to take a more political over role rather than just the more quiet um, economic role within the Arab world. George Bush's policies from the very beginning, or the events of September 11th, 19, uh, 2001, tended to be focused on an unnecessary and unremitting uh, degree of confrontation. By stepping outside of any type of uh, continued support for an Israel-Palestine peace process uh, and moving ultimately toward the debacle that has become Iraq, uh, Egypt now can step into a more political a definitive political role in the Arab world. In this case, resisting um, uh, many U.S. pressures to open an embassy in Beirut and Baghdad, maintaining that this is going to be an American issue rather than an Egyptian and a larger uh, Arab issue on one hand. And on the other hand, uh, also, I think, just recently, making particular advances toward uh, uh, coming to some greater solution in Israel and Palestine. The most recent, event, uh, recent announcement uh, of the uh, potential secession of uh, hostilities between Hamas and Israel uh, clear, clearly comes uh, on behalf of uh, mediation between Egypt's uh, intelligence chief, uh, Omar Suleiman, uh, who has not only expanded EU uh, monitoring, uh, but also hopes that this, is, this will expand uh, a rift uh, or expand a bridge between the rift uh, between Hamas and um, and Fada as well. Although I think that again, within Egypt, there are still worries that this political, though now economic, um, uh, role that Egypt has in the Arab world still needs to strike a major balance. Uh, and just a few weeks ago, uh, in fact, I uh, saw uh, another music uh, act, Radit uh, al uh, and with, that uh, tended to perform their very, uh, you know, or better known uh, song, Mama, I Want to Get Married, that doesn't confront this type of globalization or integration of Egypt into the larger world, but rather utilizes it, uh, or utilizes various aspects of this globalization. Uh, the music itself is sort of a mixture between uh, American blues and more traditional lyric uh, Mediterranean uh, percussion music and it's easily accessible on YouTube and I highly recommend you go look at it just for uh, the music uh, uh, factor itself. 
But in part, the band sings, Mama, I want to get married, but I don't have any money. Mama, I want to get married, but I don't have any money to buy a court. Mama, I, don't, I want to get married, but I don't have any money to buy a car. My sweetheart lives in Thailand, and I live in Boston. It seems that the incredible integration of Egypt into the global economy has hit it hard, or hit many, as I present of the society hard. Bread and grain prices have certainly risen in the country by over 48% of this year alone. Fruit and vegetable prices rising at over 20%. Edible oils over 45%. And urban inflation in Egypt last year reached 14.4%, its highest in three years. Possibly leading the uh, to announce just days ago a 30% increase in public spending, but also, of course, that most of the foreign trade, particularly with GCC countries, should be diverted to larger developmental projects, such as the Kotoshka project and the second Mali project that might provide as many as 2.8 million jobs and enough land to house over 16 million people. I think Egypt stands at a unique position right now, particularly in terms of the declining position of America in this region, that can provide not just the overt economic influence in the region, but also a stronger, almost not less political influence as well. But one that must look not just outside the borders, but the borders within the country, economic and social borders. And it is a sort of looking inward in order to look outward, or possibly the blues of uh, uh, what's it about a song uh, that tends to remind me that maybe Egypt is struggling right now with the conventional wisdom coming out of the American blues artist. Uh, that is usually, although incorrectly attributed to the great guitarist that became, brother, if you don't mind to love the blues, you have a hole in your soul. Uh, foreign policies and regional politics in general. And uh, 